New Mando trailer, folks. Let's just sit down, shut up, and watch it. Ah! Don't you just love when nerdy stuff collides with football? <laughs> I actually hope it's on YouTube. Please tell me. Come on, please tell me that they actually are publishing it to the public and not just on halftime. Star Wars, please. Where the heck? Come on. Whoever's pressing the upload button on YouTube is certainly taking their time. Come on. I mean, it's been a few minutes. It's been a few minutes. Well, this is awkward. Here we go. Please be real. Mandalorian season three official trailer Disney Plus. Our people are scattered like stars in the galaxy. What are we? What do we stand for? Being a Mandalorian is not just learning about how to fight. You also have to know how to navigate the galaxy. That way, you'll never be lost. I'm going to Mandalore. So that I may be forgiven for my transgressions. May the force be with you! This is the way. There's something dangerous happening out there. And by the time it becomes big enough for you to act, it'll be too late. Hang on, kid. Definitely got some clips in there that I wasn't expecting. I'm gonna be real honest with y'all. I actually didn't really think we were gonna get much new additional footage or clips in that trailer because the Mandalorian trailers are typically very conservative and don't release too much. So frankly, I wasn't even expecting much more footage or clips than what we got in the initial first uh, look, the teaser from D23 in September or whenever that was. So uh, this is uh, needless to say, a very pleasant, surprise it really 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 feels like the show is going on like a whole a new trajectory here really interesting though i mean obviously of course these trailers show like 0.012 percent of the content that actually ends up happening in the the season so there's always a big surprise in store as we all know but definitely some surprises in this trailer i mean another freaking order 66 flashback what the freak I mean, I guess that's hinting at addressing the biggest question that's been lingering. How the heck did little Grogues uh, get the frick out of there? Who saved him? Did he save himself? I mean, uh, who freaking knows? But was that also Coruscant? Sweet Lord, I think it was. Sweet Lord, we are just getting spoiled with this Coruscant material here. As we should be. Let's be freaking real. Give it the love that it freaking deserves. Oh my gosh. A little freaking salacious crumb twin? Like, what is going on? Oh my gosh, this almost feels like a, a whole different show now that the, the overarching arc is taking a turn, uh, kind of focusing more on Mando's journey and less on, obviously, the conjoined journey of him and Grogu, but really was kind of the main objective was taking care of Grogu and finding him a Jedi. And now clearly it's turned more on a Din Djarin personal journey here whilst teaching Grogu clearly to adopt some Mandalorian ways uh, along the way, um, which is obviously the content. I mean, we've all been wanting. I mean, just embrace it. He is 
beast. He's Grogi's daddy. <laughs> the music, of course, freaking spot on. And each season has, I feel like, just stepped up the soundtrack more and more. So there's always some special surprise tunes, Skrillex in store. So I'm freaking stoked. March 1st, that's like right around the corner. Oh my God. I've had to like block this season out of my brain because correct me if I'm wrong, but did it not get delayed? I just feel like everything gets pushed back these days. So I just literally have to like force myself to just forget that it's even happening and focus on other things so i've like pushed mandalorian season three to like the back burner but now it's freaking happening uh, this like snuck up march 1st oh my gosh that's like oh, right around the corner sorry i'm like winded very interesting though the first teaser does focus a little bit more on bo katan uh whereas i believe correct me again if i'm wrong but it feels like she was absent in this one it definitely was a more Din Djarin centric trailer so this is really this is really going to be the soul searching season for him but it's definitely welcomed it's like about time like we've certainly gotten our fair share of Din Djarin, you know backstory or whatnot but clearly he still has a whole other journey in store and i'm curious if there's going to be some sort of you know reckoning for him you know you know this trailer hints at him teaching grogu what it means to be a mandalorian you know actually really acknowledging like what has happened to his people like I feel like he's gonna step up here with his like Mandalore patriotism or whatnot uh, but at the same time you know all the past events kind of point to him perhaps having a potential reckoning with his upbringing as a child of the watch and maybe learning that some of his customs that he grew up believing to be like law really weren't necessarily the case universally amongst his people so I'm curious to see if he's gonna have kind of you know an internal clash here an eternal conflict which would definitely be interesting again not that i didn't love the whole grogu trying to find a jedi arc to train him and whatnot but i i really like this turn now that it's taking to allow din to have i mean obviously he's been the lead protagonist but i feel like he's really having the spotlight now in regards to his own personal journey so we'll see if that holds up thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you guys thought of this trailer uh and any predictions you might have for season three here needless to say i am excited Ugh, i just it's always good to have mando back in our lives so may the force be with you guys always and i will see you guys again very very soon bye guys